All right, hello and welcome to another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. Sorry if you can hear that. I'm just moving my mic closer to my mouth. But yeah, welcome to another episode of this career mode. It's been going on for a long time now, and we're still not even close to what we want to achieve. It's crazy how far we've gone and how far we've still got to go. We're reaching the end of season four here. We're getting very close to finishing off the season. As you can see by the league table, we're still one point behind Burnley, which is getting on my nerves. I need them to drop points at some point, and if they don't, then they're going to win the title. Plain and simple. And if we drop points, then we're going to let them have it, I guess. But anyway, we're going to be taking on Swansea today away, and if you didn't see the last episode, or I guess the last double... Well, no, I'll show you the last game, actually. I'll show you the last two games. Last episode, we took on Wigan at home, and we beat them in a 3-1 victory. Uh, they were in the relegation zone, so it wasn't too challenging, but they did pop a bit of a fight, to be fair to them. But as you can see here, everyone is bloody exhausted because we're playing like three or four days later from the last game. So we're doing a bit of rotation here. Bring Taliba back in. Rossi comes back in. Um, that should be fine. We could probably... I'll bring Virts onto the bench. Um, Bags can start ahead of Hlasek, and Hlasek can be a substitute striker if we need one. I think the rest of that is okay, except I'm going to put O'Leary here instead of Van Damme, and Van Damme can come on if need be, but I think that'll be okay. Everyone looks a little bit tired, but it's, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. We've got enough quality to cover up the tiredness. It's all good. And then following that, I think it's uh, every weekend we have a game. Now, we don't have any midweek games to come up, so it'll just be weekend games till the end of the season, till the 13th of May, where we finish off our season at home to Middlesbrough. And imagine if we are back on top. And we finish at home to Middlesbrough and we win that game. We can celebrate being champions of the championship at home. But we just need these guys, Claret and Blue, to mess up. But they just don't. They just don't mess up. They've got better goal difference as well. So if you finish on the same points, then, then they'll get the title. So without any further ado, we're going to head into the press conference and see what we get asked. Okay, thanks guys. We're going to get started with the questions now. Last time you scored four goals on Swansea City and made it look easy, we'll be able to defeat them again. Should be able to. Don't see why we wouldn't. Lads have what it takes. I can't see what Swansea City's management strategy is for this game, but I know the lads are more than prepared to face them again. I never go too cocky with that answer. I just go, they have what it takes. After your recent win against Wigan Athletic, your fans are praising you and expecting another win. Do you have anything specifically prepared for the match against Swansea City from a tactical standpoint? It was a team effort. Don't forget the whole team was involved here. The lads performed admirably. For the next match, we have focused on the same things again. Teamwork and tactics. With the curtain about to fall in this EFL Championship season, your team has been on course for automatic promotion. Can your team see it through to the end? We can see it through to the end, and we will become champions. I'm still believing. We'll fight till the end. We'll plan to fight to the very end and plan on winning. If that's not good enough, I won't be disappointed. I just don't want to fall into playoffs again, because that means another okay, season. Okay, guys. Thank possibly of being in the championship. Thanks now. I want to get promoted this season and get into the Premier League. And I saw, I've been getting a couple of comments recently and I appreciate the comments from you guys. I saw one comment saying to put it on legendary difficulty if we want to get into the Premier League and that is most likely what I will do to make it a bit more realistic just so we don't get an easy season out of it. But um, there's plenty of other comments as well that I'll get into another time. Howard scores the winner against Wigan. Howard scores to wrap up Bradford City's victory against Wigan Athletic. Greenwood Sparkles again. I want to see this. I want to see this article because he has been. I mean, he's been on all season. Whether it's setting up goals or whether it's scoring goals, he's been there. Greenwood Sparkles again. Greenwood is a man who's very happy with his current run of form. I'm playing really well at the moment. I'm really enjoying my football at Bradford. He told the Assembled Press after the game against Wigan. It certainly seems the forward is in the team's foreseeable future if he keeps this level of play up. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he will stay in the team if he keeps the level of play up. But he can't be upset if I take him out for a little break now and then, because he lo does look quite tired. Let's see who Burnley are playing. Burnley are playing Blackburn, so I'm not expecting anything out of that. I'm expecting a 4 nil win or something for Burnley. Turning all the other goal news off. And having only Burnley's on. But we're at the Liberty Stadium. We've got Rossi and goal. Kakachi and Sterling as the fullbacks. Kakachi, of course, the captain. Hennessy and Tadebo, the centre backs. O'Leary, the centre mid. Carbonero, left back. Banks, right back. Uh, sorry, Carbonero, left mid. 
Banks right mid. It's not been long since I've woken up. Give me a break. Greenwood uh, centre attacking mid. And Yotta and Haaland up front. So we'll see what we can create. Haaland's finally gone up to an 83. I meant to do a squad report. I've just clicked play match. But I meant to do a squad report. And I've forgotten. So that will be done after this match. Because I'm too forgetful. But yeah, after this match we'll go to a squad report. And I'll keep you guys up to date on... Uh, ratings and stuff. That just reminded me there when Haaland, I saw Haaland at 83, I was like, oh shit, the squad report. Start of a new month. God damn it. I'm very forgetful, especially when I'm tired. I mean, Haaland has got 36 goals and 32 appearances. That is an insane return. Might not get that next season though if we go to legendary difficulty. Hello and I'm gonna make it clear Wolves. now. I'm only gonna go to legendary difficulty if we make it to the Premier League. If we somehow bottle this, which I thought we shouldn't really, but if we somehow bottle this, I'm gonna stay on world class. I'm only gonna put on legendary for the Premier League just to make it a bit more interesting. It does mean we'll probably lose quite a few games, but it also means it's more realistic. I don't finish like top four in my first season. Get Champions League straight away. Swansea are in eighth. They're not having the worst season. I thought they were quite low down. They're on the verge of playoffs. They win this, they go into the playoffs. We win this. We could, if Blackburn does a fucking favour, we could overtake Burnley. But again, it's Burnley and they're unstoppable. And it's Blackburn and they're in the relegation zone, I'm pretty sure, or very close to it. We've got quite a strong squad. I think Troy Parrott was a problem for us last time. Undefeated, or undefined, I should say. We're undefeated in about the past eight or nine games now. Can't be stopped. Hopefully we'll stay undefeated because we need... I mean, we're going to get promoted, I'm pretty sure. I'm 99% sure we're going to get automatically promoted, but we need that title. Alright, let's see what we can bring out today out of the, out of the players, out of Bradford City. Let's see what we can do. Rossi's back in goal. Most of the team are most of the main team are starting again despite being tired, but we've got options on the bench. Should we need them? And we probably will at some point. Let's see what we can do here at the Liberty Stadium. And let's see what Blackburn can do for us when they're visiting Turf Moor. So it's good for an early attempt here to attack. Not a fan. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. So close offside early on. Onside, but offside so Swansea trying a nice little passing move there and it was working until we put that guy offside. Run. Not sure who it was. So many tweets coming through from Xbox support because it's not been working again. It went down last night after I'd finished recording. Luckily I'd finished recording at that point because if I hadn't finished recording and then it didn't save my recordings, it would have been a bit iffy. Given away. Okay. Okay. Okay, can my players make some more room if we're going to just get... What's going on? Promising sequence. Well, what's going on here, then? They got through way too easily, though. Granted, I know the players are tired, and I, in real life, I'm tired. That's off target, luckily, but... I can't be letting these shots go off. We need to get some shots of our own. And some goals. So I can guarantee you, Burnley are going to beat Blackburn. If Burnley somehow drop points, I need to take advantage of that. This is the one game I think Burnley have that's probably easiest, and the one that I don't, I, like, I don't expect them to drop points. Can I? No? Okay. I was trying to pass before I got tackled, but I guess didn't register. It's fine. Going well. Got the best home record, or best away record, I should say. 17 wins. Two losses and one draw, which is insane, to be fair. And I'm trying to clear it, but I'm just in the way, and they get shots off, luckily. Debo just heads away, just get it further away. These guys are pressuring me hard, dude. I can't see my... Can he moves. Bro, 
I can't see me do anything. It's gonna be one, it's, I can tell it's going to be one of those games. Sterling's out of position for some absurd Benson. reason. I couldn't tell you. Luckily, Banks is... Oh, it's not Banks. It's O'Leary. O'Leary's come across there. To just I'm losing my mind with this pa This passing is just it's the, it's the game, Sanchez. it's the in-game passing it's not Trimbley. me who's fucking messing this up at this point I think I have to accept the game just, and tackling is just not working either, I'm not sure what's up with that well, I put a tackle in and it just acts intercept. like I don't even bother O'Leary, look how much fucking, look how much they're fucking chasing me dude, it's for real, it's like pin in the ass, we're going to get a free kick there play, this is, it's actually a struggle kick. It's actually big struggles. And we're going to get a free kick. He did catch me, but I mean, it's nothing really too aggressive, but I'll take the free kick out of it. O'Leary. Just past the halfway line. Probably just going to pass it off and end up getting tackled probably with me. You've got to be joking. I'm passing it off way early before I get tackled there, or before I get attempted to be tackled. Real Try to get the ball in the box. Oh, I was hoping they'd put it out accidentally for a corner, that would have been interesting. But these guys are playing like kings right now, and I understand that, it's because in the playoffs, but I need to just, just play bad a little bit so I can get a goal. Greenwood. Jota. Back to Greenwood. Come back to Diego Yota. Oh, what a save, though. Right time for us to bring in Alan McAdamey because there's been a change to the scoreline at Turf Moor. Oh, I wonder who scored. Shocker, Burnley. Why is Tadipo fighting Sterling? And is he with a block? So he with a block. Struggle zone right here in fucking Wales. Haaland. To Diogo Yota, can he keep possession? Uh, mm, mm, okay. Interesting touch there. Didn't quite work out. And it's Connor Roberts. But <laughs> the biggest shocker of the day, Burnley have gone one 0 up at Blackburn, or against Blackburn, I should say. They're turf more. Mm, apparently, Kakachi just doesn't have the pace to keep up with John, even though Kakachi's pace has got a lot better. That should. <laughs> pardon? P pardon? Excuse me. I'm so fucking confused. Well, here's the replay. Defenders don't like it when it goes what to on earth has gone on here then? The ball's gonna come into the box, and on that occasion, it okay, comes in. Okay, dude. It out oh, the back of the net. bloody K. What the? I can't do. I can't do this game. This game is just fucking dog shit. Really, really dog shit. It just sucks. <laughs> like, that should be a save. What's going on? Burst on Selena gets his 13th of the season, but I. So how is that going in from that angle? Realistically, if you have a half decent goalkeeper, that's covered by him. I can't even run through with Carbonero because apparently he's slower than bloody John. John? Who the fuck is John? An awful lot of green space to run into. He's a machine, is what he is. Okay. All right, and let me get something goal. correct here. I try and immediately clear that with Tadebo, and it just goes nowhere. Okay. I see. I see what you're doing, pass. FIFA. I don't like it's it. I'm not fan. Granted, Swansea are a good team, but give me a fucking chance to do something. I can't win anything right now. A little football match, and I'm just getting the. Lock, the unlock, unlock of the bounce. You should get like lucky of the luck of the bounce. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Uh, yeah, my goalkeeper can gather up his own fucking family for a raid on some. I don't know, a raid on somewhere. My, what is going on? I'm defending. I'm trying to clear it immediately. It just, I press. I'm pressing X. I'm pressing Y. I'm pressing B. Obviously, I'm not pressing Y. I'm pressing LB and Y just to launch it. Press them together. But I'm pressing anything I can to clear the ball. It doesn't matter. They're just fucking good. Why the fuck on earth can we just suffer? It's like every other team. But Burnley, just clean sheet there, clean sheet there, victory there. Why Why are they getting it so easy? 
bloody Selena score again. I can't attack. I can't get anything through. I don't know why. Actually, no, I do know why. My players don't clear the ball when I press to clear it. I don't have any options past two because Swansea, they've got all their players in their own half. I can't play this game. I'm not. I'm, I'm about ready to quit. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. I can't turn defenders. I don't have any options. Greenwood's there, I guess. Greenwood. Yota. <sighs> Nord Phelps is going to save everything today. I can, I can already tell he's going to be one of those. He's going to be one of those. My goalkeeper couldn't save his own fucking life if he needed to. But their goalkeeper is just going to be a saviour. Diogo Jota. Oh my and days, uh, they're the on tracks. me, they're on me like glue. What can I physically, like, how can I physically combat this? They're just hey, on me and I can't fucking make anything out of it. And my players are out of position. <laughs> a highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward. Oh, now, oh, I didn't, in. I didn't clear that, Whatever apparently. Okay. Must have not done, like, you know, when I pressed it. Oh, Leary's fucking picked and up an injury. And Dude, high. this isn't gonna work. They're gonna tackle me. Yeah, and the is they're just on me like fucking vampires, dude. I can't make a pass. I can't make an attacking pass through right now. But when it comes to them, oh boy, they can just fucking attack like no, no, nobody's business. I don't know what I'm struggling with. Brad O'Leary's got a knock now. That probably might not help our case. But explain to me now why a 90 strength, 86 pace last time I checked. It's probably higher now because his overall's gone up. Explain to me how that is getting caught up with and out strength. Slow the other Yeah, obviously it's a slow day I can't fucking do shit. And God forbid one of the other teams does me a favour and stops Burnley. So as you're like, oh, we'll just stop Bradford from trying to win the league. Yeah, cool. Cool. Fun game so far. I'm not mad, you're mad. Let's see the Burnley score. Hmm. 1 0 still. I'm a shocker. Better bring O'Leary off. Before he hurts himself. Some permanent damage. Let's take a look at the stats at half time. They've absolutely dominated. There's no two ways about it. 11 shots to 7 on target, 56% possession. We've had two shots to 2 on target, 44% possession. How can we just not get through? How do they manage to make it so easy? And I just can't do anything. My defence have just been shit so far. My goalkeeper is not worth talking about. I can't, I can't run past the defender. It doesn't matter what pace my players have. I just don't, I just don't think it matters. It doesn't matter when they're out of position... Letting people pass so fucking easily. Catchy, I believe it was, who cleared that there. Yeah, because Burnley will be 2-0 up. Alan, it's the second goal for Burnley. 46 minutes played. 2-0. Why don't they just get stopped, huh? Why don't they ever lose a match? And why can't my players ever fucking tackle when I need them to? How did they... Nah, this isn't world class. Life is never dull Swansea are playing Burnley next. Watch them lose to, watch them lose to fucking Burnley. The, this will be... Either that or I'll finally yeah, beat Burnley. Yeah, and it won't matter because I've already fucking dropped points here. Be a really entertaining match. I don't know how I'm going to turn this around. Yeah, that went wide, luckily. Well, we Dude, I don't know what I meant to I'm struggling. Fulton coming off. Whoever number 28 is, I don't have a clue, I don't care. Burst Sant Selene's had nine shots. Jesus Christ, let someone else have a go, idiot. Yota. God, can... I don't... <sighs> I don't have words, like, I, I don't have words. Really sure I just don't know what I'm doing wrong, is the, oh, is the thing really I'm trying to work out here. Byers coming on for Swansea. For I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know how to put it right. Because I don't know what's going on here. They're just better than me. Cleared away by Tadebo. Yota. Onto Van Damme. 
That should be onside. You've got to be joking me. You've got to be joking me. Can you hold your run for an extra second, you Norwegian prick? To finally bring off Bersant Salina, that he's done the damage, and bring on Evans. I swear I timed that, but I guess I didn't, obviously, because it's an offside decision. Fuck's sake, I thought this would be easy. Obviously, I was mistaken. Look how, look how defensive they're playing. It's just, I can't bit, get round them. And when I do get round them, it's just nine miles out of the box like that. Okay, you aim for Haaland with the cross and it's like, oh, Greenwood's on the edge of the area? Go for him instead, lol. And then Van Damme just doesn't do possession. No. 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 <laughs> Don't get running on the counter-attack there, lad. I'm, gonna, I'm trying not to lose my cool, but it's so damn difficult when you try to make a simple pass and they just know every time. They've got Satnav in the head, like, literally, they've got Satnav on. They know I'm going to pass. That's off the pitch. I guess, okay, we'll keep playing, lol. Just not looking confident in possession. How? I want to know as well how they can keep the ball when they tackle, but I can. You've got to be fucking joking me. You've got to be fucking joking me! What is this stupid fucking prick doing? I don't think I've actually got that mad in this career mode yet. I've... I've got no words. I've got to ask questions about the fucking goalkeeper and his dumbass fucking attitude. A chance to revisit the goal. What the hell is that? Just stay in your net and let someone else try and clear it. Why the fuck are you just... You're literally tapping it off to one of their players to fucking finish off. Troy Parrott's got the fucking easiest goal of his fucking football career. And I'm sorry about all the swearing, but I'm just so pissed off. I'll swear regardless whether well, I apologise about it or not, but... Ready, and now they will make the I, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't make a chance for myself. And on the occasions I do, it's either offside right, or they just... No, fuck off away from Alan me. McEnany it's either offside the or they just save it. Burnley, Burnley would have gone up 3 nil. Who would have guessed? Right and eight. I can't pass, even though I'm pressing the button perfectly Bobby's before I actually get tackled. Dude... This might have potential. Oh, fucker. Shocker, they have another player there. A a oh, for fuck off. I can't play this game. I'm, I'm not going to get the title. Mm, I, I'd, I'd hope. Then Rossi just fucking tapped out to their, goals, their goal scorer. Oh, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. I'd hope until Rossi did that fucking play. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And I can't shoot in time. I am actually physically spamming B more than you could ever know, and it just doesn't shoot. If Haaland, the fucking heavy touching prick, just takes his entire time there, I'm going to get caught up with. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm going to give myself a fucking aneurysm. The reason I'm getting so stressed, and I know it's probably, I probably have got my automatic promotion, but if I bottle it now, I end up in the playoffs again. I will actually, I don't know. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Corner to Bradford, not that it fucking matters at this point. If we can rescue something here. from this game, I guess that's something, but obviously we won't because I physically can't make anything right now. And if my goalkeeper is just literally handing them, no pun intended, handing them goals, what can I actually do? My goalkeeper's playing for Swansea. Corner, kick played over. Kakachi gets one back. Thank goodness, bro. Just what they Is there a route back in? Is there a chance? Captain Kakachi gives us one. Well, quite a lot of the time you need good movement to get away from your marker. But you're Perfect cross from Banks. And Kakachi meets and it, it gets, incredibly. Right Let's go back to the goal. That but is there some sort of way? I don't think we're going to get back into it, but getting a goal it doesn't make me feel better at all because we've conceded three, but at least we've got one, I guess. I'm going to try something here, and hopefully this will work out. Bringing Yota off, and we're bringing Floshek on. 
Sterling is absolutely buggered, but he's just got to play the last few minutes. Comebacks on, yeah. Welcome to the stream, Hickey. I hope so. I don't see it personally myself, the way we've been playing this game. Swansea have 100% been the better team, but I mean, anything is possible. Let's just try. I guess that's all we can do. All we can do is try. Let me switch the banks. Oh, finally, about three players later. Evans. Well, the fans enjoyed that pass. Sterling is absolutely exhausted, but he's still putting in the effort, and I appreciate that. And it's a quality pass. Can he take this chance? Swansea almost making it four. We're going to get it away, thank God. Quality, quality Good save from Rossi. That's not, that couldn't be any more wrong as to where I am the pass there. I was in for my striker. It's like, oh, you'll go to the right mid, who's marked, yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, Swansea have won this. I'm not bringing this back. They're wasting too much time down this fucking corner. Not what he was intending, Banks. Just <laughs> One thing I'm good at is uh, what I've learned is I'm good at giving possession away when I don't need to. Carbonero, the stamina machine. Can he perhaps create something here? No. Well, I mean, yes, but <laughs> couldn't score it. Debo should have been the header. Nice. Anisimov. Banks. Okay, 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 I can't play this game when it's just not going to the correct players I'm aiming for. Haaland, please. No, even Haaland can't get through. Extremely sloppy in possession. I'm spamming B. Well, so <gasps> what? <laughs> We've got a penalty out of that. Be <laughs> for logic for you, yeah, no, no, no doubt. And a red! <laughs> We are so close to the end of this match, but is there some sort of opportunity here? I don't bloody know. Anisimov won the penalty, I believe. So Anisimov's going to take it, giving me a lot of injury time. Don't give me like a minute. Three minutes, okay, but there might be, there might be hope. If we can score this, there might be hope. Oh yeah, that's just that's just my that's just my luck. I'm aiming into the goal and it hits the balls, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, alright, alright FIFA, you win. You and your fucking broken game wins this one. I tackle and can't keep the ball. I honestly should just take it to Haaland. How's he across so fast? Honestly that's yeah, okay. In many ways there, I cost myself the game, but realistically, some of the goals they scored, granted, some were, some were good, I'll give, I'll give them credit for some of them, but it was the third one that really got on my fucking wick. Maybe the pressure of trying to win the league is too much. Maybe we'll just have to settle for automatic promotion in second. It's not the performance we needed. And these fucking cunts, they're playing Burnley next. If Burnley beats Swansea, it, uh, the title race is over. Selina getting two goals. Parrot getting a goal as well for Swansea. Kakache getting a goal back for us. That's fucked up that. I didn't I didn't play incredibly to be fair. I played kinda shitty. The passes just didn't want to work today. But I wanna show I wanna show something again. If I can find it. If I, I should have stayed on that menu. Oh there we go, match highlights. Watch this third goal. Watch this. How am I meant to do anything physically about this? He somehow keeps it in, which I'm pretty sure went off the pitch. My keeper comes out there, just literally taps it to their striker. I thought it was off the pitch, but I guess it wasn't. Rossi just puts it on a plate. That's the goal that's pissed me off out of the, out of the bunch. The other ones, I guess, not the greatest, but I mean, they were fine, I guess. That's the one that pisses me off. Swansea, 14 shots with 9 on target. 56% possession. We had 5 shots with 4 on target. 44% possession. Best player for us is Kakache. The one to get the goal. Everyone else played actually not accurate today. Man of the match goes to Bersant Salina for Swansea with an 8.9. Fulton with an 8.1. Parrot with an 8.4. Peterson also with an 8.1. They had some good ratings. Granted, they, they probably did play better and deserved the win. I'm just... Pissed off. Burnley just don't seem to stop. 
And Cardiff have won as well. If Cardiff honestly catch up to me and take second place, I actually might just not. <laughs> I might just cry. Burnley go four points clear once again. Just a minute of time. We're giving Tamori a chance to play of help the team win today. I don't bloody know him. He was tired, so I gave him a break. <laughs> You can prove me wrong. We'll start him next game. Not every decision pays off and you have to be able to own up to your decisions. He'll get a chance to prove that me that leaving out him out of the squad today was a wrong decision. Bradford says final defeat and the invincible streak is over. Oh god, I got hiccups. What are your thoughts? Why is it every time I try to do bloody Why is it every time I try to do an interview I start hiccuping? Uh it was good about it last year, I guess. We did well to keep the streak on while it lasted. I'm proud of all the boys have accomplished. Maybe we'll start a new streak. Smash telly material, oh, honestly, it's so frustrating when you get those games. Disappointing results today, what went wrong in your opinion? Everything. Swansea play better, I guess. Well, credit where credit is due, I thought Swansea were exceptional today. We really struggled to get to grips with the game. Never seemed to get out of the second game, we were punished by the better side. But no yeah, no, that's... Thanks. If I had any money, <laughs> I would just smash my telly and my controller, but... I've got to keep my fucking cool. Banks has given me a bloody message here. I'm happy with the amount of football you're giving me. Thanks, boss. Yeah, you... That's literally all you say to me. I'll give you the same answer each time. Oh, boy. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't press that. Okay. Proud to, see, proud to see you're working hard. I look forward to seeing more from you out there. Yeah, literally. This is <laughs> this is all our conversation. <laughs> like you can say anything else. All right. It's just... I don't want to choke so much that I end up falling out of the top two. I said at the start of this episode, I feel like we could still win the league. A miracle's going to have to happen. They need to drop four points somehow. If they draw twice and we win twice, it's back on. But We'll give some of the youth players some more training again. Mazapov. Russo's no longer a promising player. So that's probably my cue to maybe sell them on. I'll probably definitely sell them on. Keep going with Mazapov. Oh dear, this game just this game just makes you want to fucking throw things around your room. Sometimes it's just so rage inducing. That third goal sent me over the fucking edge there, legitimately. How does my goalkeeper, 80 rated or 81 rated now, I don't know. A good goalkeeper. How does he do that? Like, he just pours it out to their team. I don't I don't get what goes through someone's brain to do that. Mazepov gets an F and an A. Conflicting results there. Brown goes up to a 70. Martensen's getting there. What a fucking season he has so far. Yeah, it's been a good season, but when we've lost, it's just been rage inducing. This is a this is season four of the whole career mode and bloody second season of the championship. Last season we got to the playoffs and bottled it in the semi-finals. Got some monthly scouting updates here. Before we do, though, we've got a player chat here. Boss, I feel I've been... I, right. Boss, I feel I have been progressing and would like to discuss my wages. I feel I should be earning more based on my contribution to the team. I really appreciate it if you would arrange a meeting with me and my agent so we can go over my contract. Uh, yeah, sure. Fuck it. I'm going to probably sell him anyway at the end of the season, but we'll give him a... I guess we'll give him a raise. We'll get that out of the way after the scouting updates. These are more important to me. Let's see what we've got. Archie Baker doesn't look too bad. That's what we've had on for two months now. F it. We'll bring him up. Callum King. Overhaul's okay. Potential. We'll give him another month. Will Ward's not getting in. Hugh Thomas has good potential, but his overall's not great. Bradley Ward, no. Jay Wilson, no. I'm being really critical with these scout reports now. Dominic Evans just doesn't have the potential. Callum King will scout him for another month. I believe next month will be the last time we'll get a scout report for. So I've got another nine month thing. Iosov Baikov. An interesting name. Not really an interesting overall. Potential's kind of trash. Gavriel Simoyanov. Andrei Grinkov. We don't need no Grinkov. All we have is already asking for more money. Volchenkov. No. Yartsev. Doesn't look too bad, actually. F it. Might as well take a risk. Andrei Baikov doesn't have the overall. And Arkady Baikov. Arkady Baikov. 
I think I just did the English one, didn't I? Yeah. Alright, cool. And the Swedish report. Liam Eriksson. Doesn't look too bad. We'll just bring him in. Victor Magnussen is gone. Frederick Eklund is gone. And Frederick Magnussen is gone. Only explanation is FIFA logic. Just like James Forrest outrunning 86 Dan James. Yeah, no, it's... FIFA just hurts my brain sometimes. Right, before I end this uh, video, we'll do a squad report. Because I meant to do it at the start and I forgot, so <laughs> just how it goes. We're going to do a squad report. Obviously, some players will be higher than others because I've trained more. But we'll see what we have in terms of growth. So we've got Boris Selznev going up 9 from a 64 to a 73. Vyacheslav Lebedev going up 6 from a 63 to a 69. Lucas Linkvist going up 5 from a 65 to a 70. Donald O'Leary going up 5 from a 67 to a 72. Mason Greenwood going up 4 from a 77 to an 81. Ed Brown going up 4 from a 66 to a 70. Andrew Banks going up 4 from a 77 to an 81. Valery Anisimov going up 4 from a 67 to a 71. Liberato Kakachi going up 3 from a 77 to an 80. Landa Vuta going up 3 from a 69 to a 72. Oh, it keeps skipping two players. I'm going to get frustrated. Michelle Russo going up 3 from a 64 to a 67. Thomas Hennessy going up 3 from a 74 to a 77. Adam Ploszek going up 3 from an 81 to an 84. Dijon Sterling going up 3 from 73 to a 76. Ethan Robinson out on loan at Celtics going up 3 from 63 to a 66. Stanislav Grinkos going up 3 from 65 to a 69. Noah Van Dam has gone up 3 from a 73 to a 76. Erling Brat Haaland's finally gone up to an 83, but he's only gone up 2 this season from an 81 to an 83. Stepan Lagunov's gone up 2 from a 64 to a 66. William Lundberg out on loan has gone up 2 from a 62 to a 64. Johan Carbonero gone up 2 from a 77 to a 79. Will Martin's gone up 2 from a 63 to a 65. Frederick Eriksson's got up to from a 60 to a 62. There's so many players at this club now, it's unreal. Young Claire Tadebo's got up to from a 78 to an 80. Ricardo Rossi's got up to from a 78 to an 80. And he's... I'm about to... Like, I'm hovering over it. I'm honestly so close. Carl Fredrickson's out on loan at Preston. Got up one from a 64 to a 65. Fikaya Tamari's not really grown in any way I hoped or expected. He's got one from a 77 to a 78. Vyacheslav Varenkov's got one from a 58 to a 59. Nicholas Cook is still at 64. Diogo Yota still at 86, and Francesco Conti still at 72. He's out on loan as well, as is Cook. But that's going to be the end of another annoying episode of this career mode. Unfortunately, we lost 3-1 uh, to Swansea. It's my own fault, partly, but also I couldn't just get past the game today. I, FIFA 20 stopped me from winning that match. But you guys have enjoyed, like I said, and I'll see you very, very soon. I'm going to record this one straight after um, I'm doing this one, but this will be up to, uh, today, and the next one will be up tomorrow. Hope you guys have enjoyed, like I said, I'll see you very, very soon when we take on the Tigers.